Sam moved here from Paris and wants to get a date with her crush. I'm kind of shy. She's come to us for tips on how to translate her feelings. We've got your back. OK, thank you. <laughs> and she's going to show her crush, Lijan, that the most beautiful work of art in the gallery is her. All right, so we're back in the trap. Of course, we have our dating expert, Jessica, here to help. It's the final moments before he gets here, but we wanted to give you three tasks to help you sort of get closer with your man, OK? The first task that I want you to do, you said he likes to work out a lot, so maybe sort of compliment him, maybe feel his biceps. <laughs> get in there a little bit, you know? Also, it's really about establishing a connection, right? So do you like to work out? Yes, yes, I like to work out. OK, so maybe you could ask him for some pointers. So trying to find that common ground before you go in for the grab because touching is all about bonding, right? You're yes. creating that, establishing that connection. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. what else do you have for us, Evan? So the second task, you're from Paris, yes. the most romantic city in the world, somewhere we all dream of going on that first date. He's really? never been, so maybe have a conversation about what the two of you could do on a first date in Paris. And I like that because it's about you getting him to start fantasizing, right? Yes. So it's early fantasy, it's not anything wild or crazy, but it's easy to fantasize about falling in love in the city of love. Yes. And your third task is <laughs> you have to tell him how you feel. But because of your interesting background, I thought you could first tell him how you feel in French. OK. Be like, do you know what that means? And then when he asks, <laughs> Tell him again in English. Use what comes naturally to you, right? So French is your first language. Yes, you have this is. beautiful language to work with. So yeah, that's a great pointer. As you saw, Jessica and I are going to be watching everything that happens in here in the love nest. If for some reason we feel like we need to have an intervention, maybe give you a little bit last minute advice or just sort of a little kick in the butt. <laughs> if Ralph brings in a frame, mm -hmm. just excuse yourself casually, say maybe you need to use the bathroom, come back and see us in the nest. OK. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Je me sens bien. Uh, yeah. She feels well. Yes. Je suis prête. She's ready. Yeah. Woo. Let's, Let's go. Do this. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hey, ladies. Sword and Rob. Hey. I just got word that Lijan's on his way. So you look beautiful, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. A little bit nervous, but ready, ready to go. All right, well listen, stick to the tasks I gave you. With a face like that, you can't go wrong. I'll see you soon, thank you, Katie. Lijan's here right on time, but he has no idea the whole thing is a trap. He's not here to evaluate the art, as much as he is to see the value in Sam. Hi, hi, you must be Lijan. Lijan's here, it's just what Sam said, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, what? What am I doing here? Wanna, we know each other, actually. <laughs> what? This is so random, hi. He was totally surprised to see her here. He had no idea. He thought he was coming for a financial appraisal. And she was genuinely excited to see him. She had her hands over her face. She was giggling. It was really sweet. So how do you know each other? Wow. Uh, uh, it's like we met each other through friends. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's been a nice job, yeah. I was just showing um, Sam Smart. Do you want to come? We're looking uh, for investors to come in. So he's just arrived, and she moved on the other side of Ralph. Why is she moving farther away from him when she should be really getting closer to him? I hope he's not scaring her off. What we want to do is expand, and uh, we just thought, you know, might as well get an expert in to tell us if that makes sense. OK, so first thing that I would look at as an investor is just, like, what's, what, you know, what are your revenues? Well, she's nervous. You know, she's thought about this guy for a long time. She's decided this is the one Canadian guy she's going to let break through that Parisian wall of love. Yeah. Uh, I know you're just starting off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. the hardest thing. It's just like getting a job, right? So it's sure. like. I like him. Very professional. The question is, can Sam get him out of that professional mode and into Sam? But what would investors be looking for? Oh, sorry. Um, I just got to take this. Uh, these are some of the paintings that we're thinking of purchasing. One of the two of you uh, have a look okay, through no them, problem. and I'll be right back. Okay. Minute, okay. No problem. Sorry. Oh. All right. Perfect. They're finally alone. What are you doing here? This is so funny. Oh, look at that. Some body contact already. No, Sincella, what are you doing here? Because actually, this is my friend, John. It's his work in the gallery. He's shocked, and he literally cannot stop smiling and staring at her. He looks like a very old-looking baby. So he just wanted me to give my opinion, because he knows that I really like hot. That's why I'm here. I have to say, I feel like there's a little bit of nervous energy in that room, and I like it. I think it's sweet, and I think it's authentic. Are you just thinking, yeah, for sure, I have a friend that, you know, can take these paintings and sell it to, I don't know, some Tom, Dick, and Harry. Fine, but, like, I don't, I, I, I don't know about that, right? All right, he's dominating the conversation right now. She needs to step in. No, I'm not, like, a connoisseur of art. 
What's her first task? Her first task is to feel him up a little bit, get to know his Just muscles. Feel up, yeah. Probably the closest thing that they could do towards that is getting like a credit. I don't know, I don't know about that. Okay, I'm just here for that, you know. Okay, what's on? Okay, so. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> she did grab hold of his arm, which right. is kind of awesome, but not. Not my full task. Right. And also, it's the perfect trap. She definitely sold it. Now we gotta see if she can sell herself. Um, do you still do you still work out? I'm still working out. Yeah, me too, me too now. I'm working out. <laughs> Your girl has brought it back to the personal. She's asking about working out. So cool. Yeah, so he's still working out, so, so, so where do you work out, actually? What do you think of hitting a gym? He's all business, she wants to be all pleasure. They gotta meet in the middle. Think he's being too serious about the job? No, I think that they're actually moving into that friendly territory right now. Okay, so <laughs> How long is this, like, when is this place gonna be open? I think it's already open. Okay, I'm getting a little bit concerned. She is touching him, but they're really just talking about business, and now he's writing down something. What's going on those days in your life? I'm actually trying to like, write this down, be like, okay, like, give something concrete. She put out a major feeler, tried to flirt with him, and he said, sorry, I gotta write something down. Maybe we need to send Ralph back in, give him their next task, and see if she can do the second one better than the first one, because right now she's really not doing the first one. Coming up, we pull Sam out of the gallery and give her some perspective. Was there a little bit of a connection the first time you met? Yeah, yeah. Take him back to that time. Yeah, that's good. But will this trap end up all business and no pleasure? 